everyone, my name is Giorgio, I'm in 10th grade, and this video is about how life is on Highland Springs and Crown Athletics. Hey guys, my name is Damani and I am a junior, and today's video is going to be about what it's like being on both teams, Highland Springs High School and Crown Athletics. Hey guys, my name is Trinelle. I'm in the ninth grade, and today I'm going to be talking about life on Highland Springs and Crown Athletics. Okay, so since Crown Athletics is a first year team, we get a common question of what exactly is Crown Athletics? Crown Athletics is an all-star stomp and shake competitive cheerleading team with the age range from five years old to 18 years old. Okay, so the first question is, can we see your uniforms? I'm gonna show you guys JV uniforms because I'm on JV, but the first uniform we have right now is the comp uniform. Everybody gets this uniform because we usually wear it to showcases, competitions, you know. The second one is the shaky skirt with a car wash skirt uniform with the one shoulder, one shoulder strap shell. The next uniform is this old, 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 very old uniform. HSHS with this skirt. It's very outdated. Not really a look, but here it is. <laughs> Next one we got is the Springer shell with the straight HS skirt. Yeah. And then for crown, we have we have our Stump and Shake Uni PA with the car wash skirt. It's a really cute. It's a look. Definitely a look. And then we have our All Star Uni. Yes. Definitely a look as well. With the skirt. Real cute. So the first uniform I'm going to show you is a uh, HSHS gold shell. This is Royce Tees. And this is a skirt. And the next is the, this one from Highland Springs, the black car wash. And then we got the skirt. And next is the cop uni for Howard Springs. Do, do, do. This is the shell. This is the midriff. And then this is the skirt. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, that's all the unis. Alrighty, next question is. Which team do I like the most? Um, I don't necessarily have a favorite or like one over the other. I like both equally, but they do have their pros and cons. Highland Springs, of course, I'm cheering for games, cheering on for my school. And we didn't do many competitions this year compared to the previous years. We only competed in one competition this year. But Crown Athletics, that's what we're all about. We're about competition we're a competitive team so it's like i was getting the best of both worlds i get to cheer at games and compete at competitions just oh competitions just with a different team you know i like crown athletics better because you actually get to practice with people from different schools and then competitions are so much fun like the energy is just pumped up you get more rowdy you can't wait to compete rather than just cheering on the sidelines. I don't have a favorite team because I like Crown, Crown is comp, Simeon Highland Springs is football and basketball. So I have the best of both worlds. So both of them are my favorite. Okay, so the next question is, how much do y'all practice outside of actual practice? Um, right now we have to practice at home ourselves because of quarantine. No! 
but yeah so by the time we get back to actual practice we'll have it and we'll stay on top of stuff and just practice runs way much smoother if you practice at home so i would say once i learn the material i go home and then i practice it that night and then probably if i don't have practice that day i go home and then practice materials so when i go back to actual practice i'll have it down packed and i'll be straight that's the key that's the key practice at home practice makes perfect in general okay to be honest this year outside of practice i don't know i practiced less than i did my ninth grade year i don't know why but um maybe 30 minutes to an hour depending on it but it depends though it depends on what i'm practicing for like if it's a performance then maybe a little longer or if it's something that we just learned it just depends so at the tops i'm gonna give you two hours like full out going full out in front of the mirror like full blown everything like sweating and all yes i'll give you max two hours well i love eat sleep breathe chair so <laughs> I practice 24-7. If I'm in a store, I'll do a cheer. Or, like, I just practice in my room all the time. Because, yeah, just do. The next questions are, what are our diets and how is it staying in shape? Okay, so once you're on a team, you automatically get a soda diet, which means you got to cut all that soda out. got to cut that soda out. Got to get rid of all them sugary, heavy foods. Even at practice, you can't have no fast food. You can't have no sports drinks like Gatorade, Powerade. Can't have none of that. None of that. Because what if you practice it and you eat all that Chick-fil-A cookout and then you throw up? Whose fault is that? Not the coaches. It's ours. That's why we can't have no heavy food. Especially when we perform. Like, right before we perform... Can't have no milkshakes. None of that. Because that's too heavy. That's too heavy on you. And even it's all bad for you. All that junk. No, you don't need it. You don't need it. All that soda, you don't need it. Switch it for some water. Your body will thank you. And how is it staying in shape? Well, we do work out full blown in the summer for Highland Springs. And then warm ups. Maybe run a little when we like get in trouble and stuff. So we're pretty much working out throughout the whole season on both teams. Cardio is the main thing, stamina. That's how you gotta keep your stamina up. So we do a lot of cardio. I eat pretty healthy. Like I, we're not allowed to eat fast food at practice or drink anything but water. So that kind of makes me not want any fast food because I've been practiced a lot. So I don't eat it out of practice and we're not allowed to drink soda. So I don't drink that anymore. The next question is, are the coaches active at practice? Like, do they get up and physically show you moves? Yes, yes, yes. Whether it's Coach Christie showing us a dance, Coach Seat showing us a cheer or a dance, Coach Randy showing us the right motion or move, Coach K showing us stunts, and on Highland Springs, Coach Bree showing us how, like, technique of tumbling or the technique of stunts anything of that nature they all contribute to our practice coach c will automatically like she can easily get up and show you how a move is done how a certain technique is done easily our coaches are active they're like that active inside of practice and outside of practice get like them Period. Yes, they are. The coaches love to come down and help us and show us a move. If we're learning something or if we're doing stunts, they'll help us as well. Next question. Okay, so is it hard to be? Hey, yo, this a video. Hey, oh, this a video. Hey, yo, 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 this a video.